Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Air Alert 2 with Mimi Heart 37. So, I guess this is going to be the last episode uh, of the Twin Otter. After that, we're going to move over to the Beechcraft uh, B1900D. So, we were over in Memphis, and uh, when I was looking at jobs over there, there really is nothing that I can do. Um, a lot of them are really heavy, or they expire too soon, or something like that. So, there really was nothing to do, so I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to fly today. And uh, then I remember we have, because um, today is Saturday, and we have another Twin Otter over at Hilton Head. And because it's Saturday, uh, the people have already finished their route, so the plane should be freed up. Uh, so I checked over there, and luckily we have a flight uh, going from Hilton Head down to Jacksonville. And I'll have someone pick it up and take it back to Hilton Head, because that's where it has to be uh, on Monday. Monday morning when the, the passenger routes uh, begin again. So, we're actually good to go ahead and take it. I might have to clear it here in a second. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it or not. Without me clearing it. Let's go look at FS Commander real quick. Alright, so over at Hilton Head, the wind is coming out of the south. So, we'll take off on runway 21. That's a heading of 213 degrees. And over here at Jacksonville, the wind is coming out of the west, southwest. So, we're going to land on runway 25. It's a heading of 256 degrees. We'll come straight in because... As always, it's a big international airport. I really don't want to do, like, traffic patterns and stuff like that over the big airport. So we'll just come over here and come straight in uh, to Jacksonville. By the way, airport elevation, it's like 30 feet, but it's, uh... So that's good. Let's check this out here. Fly now. I don't know if I can fly it now or not. So we got the Twin Otter FedEx. I might have to clear it out. Oh, no. I know why. That's uh, a uh, passenger, so I've got to switch over to cargo real quick. So let's change that configuration. It's a good thing that we're making a bunch of money because it's gonna oh, it's gonna cost twenty thousand. While to change it back will cost another twenty, so we're only gonna make like five grand. How's that twenty thousand to change nineteen seats? That's those a thousand dollars a seat. Good lord, that's kind of ridiculous. Actually, that's really ridiculous. It actually let me it let me load it. That was kind of odd that it actually did let me load that thing. Um. Now let's see if it'll let me do it now. Fly now. Yeah, there it is. The Twin Otter Business Wings over at Hilton Head. KHXD. So I had to unload a little fuel. It was full of fuel. Um, And we, you can see we have one pound remaining. So we're actually extremely heavy. Keep that in mind. Yeah, like what? No, oh, it's 35 grand. So we're actually going to lose 5 grand. But I got to get this flight. So this will be the last one. Because uh, I need to get this one done. All right, so it'll be about 12.44. I'm moving back to about 11.44. Last position, we can't do last position uh, because I did not fly it there. Um, You know what? Jeez, oh, I don't know. There's all of these. I'm going to go for seven. This is like lucky seven. I'll try that one. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on over to the plane. All right, everybody, here we are in the plane. I guess so, uh, we kind of picked a crappy area. Lucky seven wasn't so lucky. I don't know what it, I guess, guess that's a Dash 8, it just seems like the Dash 8, I'm always thinking it's actually a lot bigger than that, but maybe not. It's not often we see a lot of traffic uh, in the game. I wonder where he's going to go. I guess he's, well he doesn't have to taxi to the right. By the way, we're a little overweight, which kind of sucks, we're about 200 pounds overweight, but, I mean, you got to kind of go with it. You could lower the cargo weight, technically, but eh. Don't really want to do that. So let's go down here and make sure our parking brake is on. Alright, so let's go ahead. Well, I got it on external power. I'm going to switch this over to battery. Turn the DC master switch on. Uh, I don't know why this thing is trying to start itself. I did not do that. Let me put that back in the middle. Oh, come on, thing. See what was trying to start itself earlier. It does this sometimes, and I have no idea why. You see, now it sounds like one of them has stopped. I hate it when it does weird things like that. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess I'll turn these generators on. That's not the way it was supposed to go. Position, uh, anti-collision position lights on, no smoking, fast seatbelts, all the way, cargo plane. 
But uh, that auto, even though we shouldn't need any de-icing, we're in the south pretty good. Pedo heat can come on. Windshield heat, I'll turn that on. Bleed airs will turn on. A parking brake can come off. I'm going to go ahead and push back. Now, see, our gauges are messed up. I, I think it's because of the way it started it up. So awkward. So I'm going to have to make sure that that works. See how to put that in GPS. It seems to be riding it itself. See, sometimes it goes like 1, 2, 3, 4. Sometimes it'll have it at 1,200. And this time it actually tried to load up the correct uh, passenger weight or cargo weight it still got the fuel completely wrong but uh it's, so that's kind of odd 213 that is the heading of the runway I'm trying to get this thing to turn and it's not wanting to now see they've got it going down this way it, I guess that is correct the way we've got it. Alright, and she doesn't want to turn at all. Not shocking. So we'll stop the pushback. Let's say we're going to go up to going south. So we'll say like 8,500 feet. It's a pretty short flight. Let's go up here and turn our taxi lights on. There we go. Alright. Let's see if we can't get her to taxi. I'm going to set my flaps to 20. And see, she just stopped on her own. It's I've got a 50% on my joystick. Let's see what it says up here. Yeah, 50% and it, it's just, it takes so much to move. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to increase the power to get her moving. I'm back to 50%. And see there, it wants to go too quickly. So I'll bring back the power and try and slow her down. Now it's the pneumatics light should go off now. It's kind of odd that it's staying on. I'm gonna reduce the power a little bit more. I know we're going pretty daggone quick. A little bit more. Still bringing down the power and she doesn't want to slow down too much. I'm sure if I bring it back to a little bit more if she wants to stop. Bring up the power as we turn. Alright, I'm gonna stop her right here. Put on my parking brake real quick. Make sure, I, did I turn the bleed airs? Yeah, the bleed airs are on. So I'm not sure why it's giving me the pneumatic. I, I thought it should be off as much as uh, power as we were giving it. Looks like everything's clear here. Landing lights are on. Strobes are on. And transponder is on. All right, so let's take the runway and we'll head on out of here. Now, there it goes off. It wasn't on the taxi when we were at 50%, I don't think. Maybe it comes off just under 50% even. Now, see, I'm 50%. It just went off again. Took it a second. All right. Go ahead and advance the power. Not quite full power. Okay, we can go ahead and rotate. Flaps going to 10. All 
Alright, we're clear of everything. I'm going to re retract the flaps all the way. Claiming pretty good there. Y'all damper coming on. I'm going to pull back on the power just a little bit and bring the nose up to slow that rate. Engage the autopilot, indicated airspeed, and nav. Leaving Hilton Head. Man, I love Hilton Head. If you give me a chance to live anywhere in the country, I'd go to Hilton Head. I used to go there all the time as a kid in the summer. Beautiful ocean out there. Can't say it totally looks like the real island. Although you never see it from this vantage point, obviously. I don't know where Harbor Town would be. Would it be kind of that? It looks like more of a, I don't know if I'd say industrial, but there are many, many golf courses around, that's for sure. I'm not sure exactly where Harbor Town would be over there. Bring up the GPS. Only 113 miles to go, a little over an hour. But of course, once we get up to our cruising altitude, it'll come way down. See the power we've got set 74%. Well, there isn't really too much to do now. I'm not sure if we should go ahead and speed her on up or what. I want to check one thing out, those pumps. Those, those tanks are dry. I don't know if it was my last video or what, but we could not get the uh, fuel to come out of those tanks for some reason. I think that was actually an FS economy I was actually flying and could not get the fuel to come out of those tanks. I'm not really sure, like I say, uh, why I couldn't do that. All right, but I've got it set up. Uh, we're going to go to 8,500, I think. Yeah, 8,500. Should be a quick flight. I want to go ahead and speed on up for a minute. I'll be right back.
All right, everybody, slowing it down to normal speed here, about to make our approach here into Jacksonville. Now, I completely forgot to write down the ILS frequency. Uh, we don't use really the ILS in this plane much anyway. It's not really that important. All right, so the heading, it's gonna be uh, runway 25. The heading is actually 256. I've got it that in the course here. I'll go over to 256. And I'm gonna hit the indicated airspeed button, whoa. And bring the power down. That'll bring the nose down here in a second. It always does that when you switch it over, it brings that nose up. I need to actually come out to the left a little bit. You can see uh, there by the Pappy lights, we're a little high. I'm going to mute my mic for one minute. So I'm going to keep bringing the power down a little bit more to bring that nose down. Still feels like we're over to the right a little bit and kind of having a hard time getting over. can start turning back towards the runway. I'm going to bring the power down quite a bit more now. Bring this back to 256. Just can't seem to descend quite quick enough, although we're descending about 700 feet a minute right now. And we're right at the white arc. Alright, so we're off to the left just a little bit. Still too daggone high. Let me bring the power down even more. I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps to 10. We're still going to be quite heavy. This is the other thing. So we're going to have to bring the nose down more with that indicated airspeed now that we've got a little more drag with the flaps. I'm surprised that we're having to descend that quick though, because we came in and started the approach at around 2,000 feet. I would have thought that would have been plenty of room to get down. But this thing does not like it. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the yaw damper. Autopilot is off, the plane is mine. Reset my views. Let's get the flaps to 20. I'll try and get her set up a little better here. Here to trim down a little bit. I don't know that we've ever landed from this direction. Usually the wind has not come from this direction. Although we haven't been to Jacksonville in a while, but uh, you know, when we were, it wasn't like that. I don't think ever. All right, increasing the power just a little bit. We're getting a little too low here. Come on, plane. That's why I wasn't quite thinking about, you know, we are quite heavy, so have to watch that. So we've had problems in the past of getting a, a little too low, not being careful enough. All right, fly her down to the ground. We really could have put the flaps to 30 as well. Oh, I wanted to stop there. We'll go on to the next one. Yeah, usually we land flaps 30 and we were pretty heavy, so we really should have flaps 30. But I'm going to go ahead and retract the flaps. I think I forgot to record it as well. It used the instant replay. As long as I can remember to hit that. Usually we black screen, so an air hauler too. Because of uh, the E and B. I love the E and B, but man, it, I hate that it causes the problems that it does. Can't remember exactly where we park on this side. We've parked here quite a bit.
bring it right over here and we'll get her stopped. Alright, parking brake coming on. Let's see, uh, landing lights go off. Strobes can go off. The pedo heat can go off. So can the windshield heat. Uh, I will leave everything else on. I mean, I don't, I'm pretty sure I did not. Oh, I did. Good. Stop the recording. Alright, parking brake is off. Let's go park. I guess it was a little bit further down here than I thought. Because like I said, uh, once we landed, I wanted to stop pretty soon. Oh, there's somebody coming in. Transponder off. Uh, I'm wondering if we should go straight. I don't know how we can get over to these guys. I'm going to hang it right, right here. Because I'm not sure if that goes around, around all the way or not. But you can see those uh, jets over there. We should park near them. You can hear that plane that just landed. I'm wondering where is he? American. He's gonna have to come down this way too to get over to the terminal because the terminal is over and to the left. I hope we were correct to come down all this way. Man, she gets going just too quickly. You can see the generator <laughs> lights came on too. That's kind of odd. It does that every once in a while. But not all that often. We always get the pneumatic problem when we bring the power down. Alright, so I'm going to go straight over here and we'll park over near that uh, blue building. We'll ride up to this guy over here. Try not to hit his plane. Oh, come on, air hauler. Don't slow down like that. Not air hauler, but the tag on plane. And she's going to stop right there. That's actually pretty good. Oh, wrong button. Trying to hit the parking brake. Yeah, that's not bad. American over there. Alright, so we can turn off the taxi light. There's AM fast and seatbelts, no smoking. Alright, let's put this on external power. Got all that off. Let's go ahead and cut the... F uh, the fuel wasn't even, like, pushed all the way on. Odd. Just really odd. The way it started up and everything. Get everything off. And we'll cut the DC master switch as well. Bus ties off. Alright, let's go over to air hauler 2 real quick. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and unload the cargo. I can't believe we're going to lose money on that. That's kind of ridiculous. 20 grand, like, to turn it from cargo, or from passenger to cargo, it just seems a little much. Okay, finish the flight monitoring. Yeah, I thought it was 45. I guess it's 35, so we're going to lose a little. All right, so we took off at 4.51, land at 5.53, it was an hour and one minute. Took off with 1,490 pounds of fuel, uh, landed with 1,074. Seems like we should have used more, but max altitude, 8,527 feet. Max pitch negative 16.9, max roll negative 19.69. Uh, max speed, 146.77 knots. Minimum G, 0 0.74. Minimum G, you can see, is 0. Max G is 1.48. Max G is... Max G's exceeded zero. Stall false over speed false. Line description okay. Uh, gear down true. Land on concrete. No damage to the runway. No damage to the plane. We actually came down really 
that's quite fast. 294.13 feet a minute. That's a lot faster than I thought. Although, like I said, we were with flaps 20. We should have really done 30. Uh, let's see. Landing speed 66.7 knots. Landing pitching 9.28. We were really pitched as well. Deck on. Uh, landing roll negative 1.65, landing heading 256, wind speed 2, uh, wind direction 219. That one must have been a really bad landing. Came down quick and uh, was really pitched. Deck on it. Although we got real low and I was trying to get back up, so that would be one reason we were pitched. Trying to get that plane back up. I need to, before I forget, change this configuration. Oh, man, that sucks. So bad. 20 grand. Heck on. All right, so one class with economy only. Move it over back to the 19. And I'll have somebody probably come and pick this up and take it back to Hilton Head. But I needed to get that flight done because now we're actually done with the 200. Like I said, I wanted to do it over in Memphis, but uh, there was really nothing to fly over. That kind of sucked. Um, maybe we can get, I don't know where Caitlin is. She's got the one of the, well, actually the only B1900D. Um, so the, actually, that's one thing we need to do. I'll go ahead and buy another one. I, let's see which one we bought. So I think I, all right, I think I know which one that is because I want the. Um, let me see here. I can't remember this. United maybe. United Express. There's what we want. So let me click on it. Should have got Air Canada Express for the first one. But uh, there it is, United Express. Um, we've got $7.8 million. It's going to cost us two point seven. Let's go ahead and buy this thing. Um, yes, I don't... Uh, this is for the company. Uh, we want that... Uh, I'm going to put it cargo because we're going to be the ones flying it. Uh, we could put it in Huntington, Hilton Head. I kind of want to put it in Hilton Head. Myrtle, let's put it in Hilton Head. And I'll do the type rating later. That's in the next video. Um, so I need to, I guess that other Twin Otter. It's not bad that we uh, will leave that in Memphis because uh, I'll do pass a new passenger route for that. So And it's in Memphis, so uh, that's pretty good, actually. Big big area. Hopefully we can get to a bunch of different airports, some good routes or something. But, uh, yeah, so the next episode we'll do the type rating for the B-1900D. Which is a kind of a big step up, I think, uh, from the Twin Honor and difficulty and everything. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you all did enjoy it. I will catch you guys on the next flight.